Are chickens really the closest descendants of T-Rex? Like other animals that walks on our earth nowadays, chickens are a result of long evolution process of its ancestor. You may have heard about this, but indeed chickens are closely related to dinosaurs. Among other kind of birds, chickens, including turkeys, are the closest one. Although nowadays you see chickens are only eating seeds, their ancestor is one of the most feared predator at its time. A 68 million years old Tyrannosaurus rex DNA was compared to DNA of 21 modern species of animals and from the analysis researchers found out that chickens are the closest one. The analysis of DNA was done to the fossil of dinosaur also known as T-Rex which was found in 2003. The scientists were also comparing the DNA of a mastodon fossil to modern day's animals and the result was amazing. They found that the proteins found in the T-Rex fossil were most similar to those of chickens, and the mastodon were most similar to modern day elephants. For a long time, actually scientists have predicted the correlation between birds and dinosaurs based on the shape of their bones. We determined that T-Rex, in fact, grouped with birds, ostrich and chicken, better than any other organism that we studied, said Professor John Asara from Harvard to Telegraph. It means that although dinosaurs were reptiles, modern days reptiles are their more distant cousins rather than birds. Chickens can be reversed to dinosaurs again. Following the research that found out the unpredictable close relationship between chickens and dinosaurs, another research was conducted. Bart on John Bular, who was a student in Arhidabzinov's lab at Harvard, tried to reverse back a chicken to its ancestor. Those chickens that were altered in that way, they grew up to have a snout that looked like a dinosaur snout, said Bular as quoted from Inverse. Imagine if the research conducted further modification to more genes of the embryo, it may hatch as a dinosaur from the start. However, Bular didn't intend to reverse engineer the evolution and create a dinosaur like in the movie Jurassic Park. Bular, which is now a professor in Yale, still do some research about the relationship about avian animals and dinosaurs. The most concern is the beak of those birds, which was developed from usual dinosaur snout. He said that it may predict what kind of animal to roam on our earth in the future. Those dinosaurs are the ones who evolved to nowadays birds. Maybe that was why they could survive and finally maintain their kinds until evolving to nowadays modern avian. As a proof, you can trace chicken's genetic ancestry to find out the look of the ancestor of this animal. And if you can do it far enough, you will find that its look resembles the shape of the fossils of dinosaurs you can find in the museum. And actually, it is pretty much easier to trace the ancestor of vertebrates than other kind of animals, because evolution often only hit us gently but for a very long time. Thus, in a vertebrate's DNA, it is most likely to still contain genetic information of its ancestors. Although the information is not going to be 100% complete, but a lot of the information from the ancestors stored from a long time ago will still be in the species' DNA. Another proof of chicken's close relationship with T-Rex is the finding of one feathery kind of dinosaur. About 85 million years ago, a dinosaur named Archaeopteryx roamed the Earth. Based on the study that Bular conducts in his spare time, he stated that that only difference was just an evolved part of body. Bular found that actually modern days bird speaks are actually overgrown adaptation of a pair of tiny bones at the front of the bird's face. Adaptation to environment and the way the animal looked for food was responsible for eliminating the toothy snout. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more informational videos.